Hi. Katerina here. Happy Friday. And a very happy 1st of September. Sorry, my cat has just come to say hello. <laughs> yeah, it's a new month, September. For many, today is the last day of holiday plus the weekend. And I just wanted to come on to check how everyone's feeling and to share with you um, a very brief exercise to help you make the transition a little bit easier. To help you transition with more ease. So I'm sat under um, our chestnut tree very fortunate to have trees in our garden and I always love to sit under trees because they're so grounding I always feel like they I can share their strength um, so if my cat lets me okay you can actually see her she's on my back now <laughs> Oh, if my cat lets me, I will begin. But first of all, do you want to say hello, Fluffy? <laughs> but first of all, let me check how your summer's been. Have you had, have you had a good holiday? Have you had an opportunity to really reconnect with your family, with your children. Have you had time for some rest? Have you had a chance to recharge? Now, I have to say that probably for the first time since the boys, my boys were born, I actually don't want the holidays to end. We've really had a good time this summer. And I know they're much older, things are much easier. But I have spent literally every single day of the holidays with them. Not just by myself, obviously with other people as well. And yeah, it's just been it's just been really good. And what the change from a few years back when it was a real struggle. So feeling very grateful. <laughs> Fluffy. <laughs> oh, darling. She missed us. She missed us when we were away in Wales. They were on their own. Just a pet lady came to feed them. So yeah, just uh, take a moment to reflect on how your summer has been and how you feel about the new school year. What are your feelings? What are your feelings right now? Do you feel a bit of apprehension? Feeling a bit anxious about it? Or are you glad that the kids are going back to school? <laughs> But with, as with any new beginnings, there will be a transition period when we'll have to get used to the new. Now, I'm really sorry, Fluffy, but we can't do this together. Yeah, we can't. And I'm wearing a white top and I don't want it to be dirty. Okay, right. So here comes the exercise. I just like you to wherever you are right now, if you can just pause and stop what you're doing. Yeah, put down whatever you're holding. And just feel your feet on the floor. If you're standing, connect your feet to the, to the earth. Connect to the ground. Feel them on the floor. And connect.
connect to your breath. Just notice your breath. Just breathe in and breathe out. Notice your breath. Breathe in and breathe out. Now breathing through your nose. You're breathing through your nose and you're breathing out through your nose as well. Just breathe in your own rhythm. Breathe in and breathe out. Now let's extend the out breath. Make your out breath longer than the in breath. You can count in your head if it helps. Breathe in. And breathe out for longer. Let's do this a few more times. Breathe in. And breathe out. Just one more. Breathe in. And breathe out. Now, I'd like you to place your left hand on your chest area, on your heart. I can't because Fluff, our cat, is not letting me. <laughs> and feel your chest rising and falling with your hand on your chest. Feel your heartbeat, feel the warmth of the skin. And if it feels comfortable and you haven't done so yet, now close your eyes. If it doesn't feel comfortable, just lower your gaze. And um, I'd like you to bring in an image to your mind. What would you like the new school term look like? What does it look like? What do you want it to be? What do you want it to feel like? Now really connect with that feeling. What do you want the new school term, the beginning of it? What do you want it to feel like? Do you want it to feel light and effortless? Do you want it to be happy and even joyful? Do you want it to be optimistic? What else do you want it to be? And what does it look like? Maybe picture the first day your children go back to school. How do you want the morning to look? Now let all those feelings that you have just imagined to just permeate your body. Let those feelings fill all of your body from head to toe. Really connect with what it, what it feels like to have a really good start to the new term. Maybe you have a really good image in front of you now. Good. That's it. Now just connect back to your breath. Notice your feet on the floor again. And when you're ready, open your eyes. Maybe have a little stretch. Yay. 
and as if you have just created with an intention and created how the transition is going to go for you and your family. Hold that feeling in your heart. That's all from me, from under the chestnut tree. Have a really good weekend. And you can come back to the recording whenever you want. Okay, bye for now.